KZ Guy 2 No Nonsense Know How here again, and today I want to show you something that every HVAC system should already have. And that is this ICM 254 Post Purge Fan Delay. It's going to come in this box with some instructions and a piece of sticky tape. You can pick these up on Amazon for about 23 bucks. I'll make sure to put a link down below. But first, why would you even need one of these? And then I'll show you how to install this thing. All right, now during the hot, humid summer days, you turn your AC on upstairs, two things happen. Turns your compressor on outside, and your Freon comes in here, and there's a evaporator core inside of here. That gets very, very cold, and at the same time, your blower fan is also triggered on down here. 24 volts is sent down to this solenoid, and that turns on your fan. Now as this thing's running just like your coke can would sweat sitting out in the room, this cold, very cold evaporator core sweats. That water is drained down these tubes, well actually one's just an overflow tube, but down over to here, pumped over to a sink. Now the problem here is when the AC cycles off, the compressor and the fan shut off at the same time. So you're left with a wet, dripping wet evaporator core in there that doesn't have any airflow going across it. Now there's a couple problems with that. This thing sitting in here, I keep going like this because it's actually a triangular evaporator core. This thing sitting in here wet and it's going to grow mildew and mold on it. It's going to get stinky. Also, it can tend to rot these HVAC units out. I used to drive around scrapping these things all the time and I would see the evaporator cores and them just completely rusted apart, all the steel in there. And, you know, even the copper would corrode through. That's because they're sitting in there wet all the time. So this thing right here is going to help fix those problems. Now I just have this test wired up here to make sure it worked good before I permanently install it. I'll show you that later in the video. But basically what this thing allows you to do is when the AC is triggered on, yes, the compressor turns on outside as normal, but now you can adjust the amount of seconds that the fan, you know, until the fan comes on. So I have mine set for nine seconds after the compressor comes on. A uh, couple benefits there again. That's going to give the evaporator nine seconds to cool down. Why turn the fan on if it's still room temperature? And also that's going to lighten the surge electricity load on your, you know, main panel over here. Of course, if you have a 200 amp panel, it's not going to be a big deal. But, you know, the compressor and the fan aren't turning on the exact same time. So maybe say you were running your house on generator power, you know, and you were running the AC too. Boom. That's a benefit. But the best feature about this, of course, is the delay on break. When my air conditioning is triggered off, compressor shuts off, I have this set to run my fan for an extra 390 seconds. That's around six minutes or so. And that's going to continue blowing air across the evaporator, which is going to dry it off and leave it dry when this thing's done. So when I shut my AC off, because, you know, when I leave for the day, I'll turn it on 85 and it won't turn back on all day. And now I don't have a wet evaporator sitting in here. And the last benefit I can think of is why leave all that cool air up in these ducts? You know, why not take advantage of it and recirculate it through the house? Of course, there are some downsides too. Now you have an extra component that could fail. But you know what? I think the benefits far outweigh the, you know, the negatives in this situation. Now here is a look at the instructions in case you want to pause that and take a look at those. And here is a look at the wiring diagram. Basically, all you have to do is take your green wire coming from the thermostat and you're going to take that wire and hook it down to terminal number four. Then you're going to take a wire from your red constant 24 volt side and you're going to run that down to terminal number two, 24 volt AC input. And you're going to take a wire from the blue or always common and you're going to run that down to number three. Then you're going to take number one over here and you're going to run a wire from this going over to the uh, green right here on your block and that's normally where when your thermostat sends 24 volts down this green wire normally it would be going to this green terminal right here in the center where I have the, the white pigtail on. Uh, what that is going to do is then trigger this fan solenoid right here. This is going to click on and it's going to send 120 volts over to my fan turning my fan on. Very simple. Again, pause that wiring diagram if you want to see how to set that up. And now let me wire this up properly and show you my final install. Oh, and look at this. Made in USA. That's nice to see. To do my final install, I got some wire I had laying around. I used these spade connectors, some heat shrink wrap, 
and of course wire strippers and crimpers right here. If you don't know how the you know crimp ends, check out another video on that. This is what I ended up with. I used the sticky pad on the back and then put some dabs of silicone on the back of it too. So I'll let that dry and that'll be on there nice and secure. And again, just to recap on the wiring, the green fan signal coming from your thermostat is gonna go to number four. Then you're gonna tap in up to your common up here. That's gonna be blue. And that's gonna go to number three. And then your constant 24 volt red is gonna go right down here in number two. And then of course coming out of number one, that is gonna be the fan signal. That's the signal that this is sending to turn the fan on. That's gonna go over to, uh, to the green on your block here. And that's gonna conclude my presentation of the ICM 254 post purge fan delay. Fine product, made in the US. Check out a link down below if you wanna buy it on Amazon. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Consider checking out my channel, maybe even tossing me a subscribe. A lot of helpful stuff on there. It's all pretty random, but you know I try to focus on just getting the point across and showing you things that benefit people. All right, so till next time, this is KZ Guy 2 here. No nonsense, no how. You enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll see you next time.